Oh, yeah. Some more fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that definitely. I mean, what you personally, what do you think I need to work on? Here's the thing. Where I think it's just, it's literally just practice. I don't see anyone. You've got the hardest part down your spoon. So now it's just imagine. Oh, I'd turn that off. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, pretty good, brother. I'm going to turn this off. I don't need that at all. So like I said, so what's going to happen now is we're going to continue doing the lines and we're just going to build up the speed. Just go what? We're just going to build up the speed. Okay. And you'll see, it'll all come together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you through it and at some points I may push you a little harder. Okay. Just follow my lead and I'll tell you when I need you to brake. If I tell you to brake harder, brake a little harder. Okay. You know, stuff like that. Perfect. Yellow, 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 yellow. Uh, damn roof line is so low. My big old head. Track is green, green, green. Track is green, green, green. That's cool. Yeah, it helps. Uh, Very, that helps a lot. <laughs> Oh no! I, if you're learning something, you're having fun, then then we have accomplished three quarters of what we need to do. Yeah, I mean that's my whole point. I just want to learn what I don't know. You know what I mean? And be better at what well, I do. So what I'm what it, what it really is is it's really get so part of it's mechanics. Okay, you understand? Do this, do that, hit the brakes. The second part of it, and that that's I've had. Let me just put it right here. Is is feeling the car, okay? In other words, you and the car, you'll under start feeling what it can do and what it can't do. Now that takes time. I tell you, when I get a new car that I'm going to drive, to start getting up to the limits of that car, I probably need to drive it a year. Yeah. Where I'm really comfortable. I know, okay, when this happens, this when I do this. So it's a lot about that, and that's what's going to help you as you approach the limits. If the car is going to talk to you, and you're going to know what it means. I wish I had better. Uh seat belts for the simple fact that you know when your body moves then you kind of lose feeling of the right. car a little bit yeah that's about the only thing i so at some point if like let's say it's this car that you brought out cool down lab maybe cool you down put lab. a cool down lab. four or five point harness in it yeah just cool down lab. it does cool make down a difference lab. Cool down oh lab. it's huge yeah because the problem is is when your body moves then you're trying to pull in on the wheel to get your body back and yeah, yeah. you don't want to do that no you, you want it to be there because you want to be doing this, not having to hold the wheel to keep you in the right place. Be nice if even if these had a lock on them, you know. Some people make CG locks for it. Do you find that it loosens up? Uh, I mean, I think in like one time I noticed it a little bit. So, what's your favorite car to run on this track? The Beamer. I like that because that's what I've driven the most. But I tell you, it depends on what I want. Okay. Um, I like driving the BMW because I have that. I've liked driving, I've driven a GTR. It's a very heavy car, but it's, if you want to go stupid fast and be safe, that's probably the all wheel drive, all -wheel drive safest car you can buy, you know, off. I truly enjoy these. I've driven the Gallardos. I really enjoy those. Uh, you know, Miatas are like at the opposite experience. Probably the other car I really enjoy driving is a Porsche GT3. So not just the Carrera, but a GT3. Yeah. It is, it is the biggest hoot to drive out here. The, uh, I know those are fun right there too. See, those are fun because they're light. Yeah. This isn't a seat heater, does it? No. Is it warm? Probably because it was sitting in the sun and it's black. Probably. It. So, so you know. I have to tell you, personally, I'm not a Corvette person. Yeah, I'm not either. All right. I mean, I can appreciate it for what they are, but... All right, let's do some hands for a radio check. Hands for a radio check. I, I'm, I'm the same boat. I give him such a hard time because he's not got a common Corvette motor. On. Yeah. Like, he has the car. He doesn't have the watch. Mike, the jacket. Radio. You know? 
So, you know, I don't, I don't care for right here, Thank you. front okay, drivers everyone. on the track. I mean, you can go, but it's a different feel again. Okay. Weight, you know, you got a lot of weight up front. Minis, I've driven around the track. They're entertaining. It's just a very different experience. Well, they seem like they would be really top heavy, and you get a lot of body roll on them. Not really. It leans, but it's this good. It's just you have to get used to that. Your engine and your front wheels are driven, so when you hit the brakes, there's nothing on the back end. It's sense. an easy car to spin. Sometimes leaning is kind of cool. Actually, when you kind of slide the car through the turns. Well, see, and that's what we were talking about uh, before is, you know, I've done it before to where you can you can keep your gas and just break the rear end, just yeah. work it to yeah. get a better corner. But I'd rather learn how to do it like this and then work up to that level. See, lighter. now that would be the ultimate... That's, that's what happens when you get into advanced techniques, okay? Like, there are places, like, when you come into Rattlesnake and, you know, you take that right, in my BMW, what I do is I brake, I turn, and mid-turn, I lift on the gas, and it just scoots the car over yeah. far enough where I can... But, but that's because I feel the car. Yeah, okay? You know the car. That's, uh... I've I'm, driven a Bentley GT out here. Yeah, how was that? That's a heavy that's car. That's a pig. That's a, yeah. That's a pig. The, uh, like, uh, the Murciagos, I've driven those, and it's so wide. I, it's, it's, I've just, driven that out here. It's not comfortable it's, at all. No, it's big. Gallardo's a much better tool for this. I have a buddy that's got a Gallardo with a bunch of stuff done to it. It's, I always give him a hard time about that. I say, man, that is the nicest tractor I've ever seen. Because <laughs> they still make tractors. Right. And, uh, so it was kind of funny. Go left. 
gonna let him pass. No, he hasn't said nothing. Go ahead. Okay. Give one more point by it. Yeah. The guy told me. Thank you. 
more on the inside. Go. Three, 
Good, good. Now start turning. Good. Start giving it gas. More gas, more gas. All the way. Leave it at three. Do not shift. Brake. Harder. Off brake, turn. There you go. You got it. Brake. Stay on here. Turn. thing for me is you expect the front end to break loose right and you're waiting for the like you can feel the rear end float yeah so when we're going through rattlesnake yeah. so the only thing that i would do differently you were pretty much at the limit of what you could do when you take that left okay you're carrying a lot of speed there there's nothing more left i just want you to know that <laughs> so when you give it gas you're actually using the card to your advantage because what you were doing is you were using by applying throttle to make a turn it's not a bad thing, yeah. as long as you know that. Yeah. That was cool. For I'm good. glad. Yeah. So, I'd always say I'd rather be the slowest car out there and not make a single mistake and instead of the fastest car and make every mistake. Well, and I would say that... I wouldn't say that you were making mistakes. I think you're just learning. I think your lines are really good. They put the car in the right place. Okay? That means a lot, man. Thanks. You know? So now it's just working through it. I thought the way you did the warm-up lap was really good. It warmed up. It allowed you and the car to... Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't bother me getting past. I, that doesn't bother me at all. My problem is just getting better. Right. You know? Well, and that'll come with just practice but yeah. we are well on our way <laughs> good man good glad to hear it it really man you know going out here and stuff it totally gives you a new respect you know well and you also realize that this is a wonderful car it's a really fast car and it can do a lot of things but even it has limits yeah okay and you got to respect that oh yeah if you don't respect that that'll be a problem you smell those brakes man yeah <laughs> it's all right Nah, I'm not gonna leave that so I don't melt it. But right. the uh, so what do you think my biggest thing to improve on? You said rattlesnake. So in rattlesnake, when you come in, so when you're coming into rattlesnake, you, you got the braking down, you bring it around. Okay. So the thing is, I wouldn't change where your lines are per se. You're at the limit when you're taking that left there. There isn't much left. Yeah. Okay, because you're pushing through there. The main thing that you want to watch is the throttle application because you're in second gear. Try to reduce the amount of on off and i know that may be hard well i think right when i hit that second one that's when i downshift right that's so you true. downshift to there that's okay but as you're working your way down you had a tendency to do this okay on gas off gas try to minimize that a little bit maybe maybe difficult but try to minimize what so, that'll do is it'll keep the car more stable okay and 
you know, I like the way you use all the track. And notice, notice what happened. When you came out of Rattlesnake, you used all the track. Yeah. You were down here at the cone. As soon as you were turning up, you were on the gas. Notice how fast you were coming out. I was yeah. looking at that Porsche. Initially, that Porsche was catching up to us. By the last two laps, every lap, he was falling behind. Why? And where did you lose him? In the turns. That's pretty sad for a Porsche, I mean. But that's but that's yeah. what I'm saying is, I can, it doesn't matter how much power you got on the straightaway, right. you're telling me that you're getting through the turns really well, okay?